And Kelly, we're going to send it over to you. You met a fan that loves Philly sports so much, he isn't missing any of the games, not the Phillies, Eagles, or Union. Yeah, speaking of passionate, okay, so he went to the Eagles game yesterday and the Union game. He has tickets to all three Phillies games this week. He'll go to Houston on Thursday for the Eagles game, and then we'll stay if the Phillies go back to Houston. I asked him, are you just really financially sound or a little crazy? He said a little bit of both and a lot of passion. Baseball just became like a passion. Looking for man cave inspo? Look no further than Kevin Sika's Quakertown basement. That's what it was for. It was just a game room. It's it kind of got a little carried away. Except this man cave is really more of a Philadelphia Phillies haven and was actually created for his two daughters in high school at the time, a place to hang out with friends. It's the funniest part was my daughter wanted red furniture. Uh, and I was like, no. And then she's like, what if we did a Phillies team? I'm like, okay. So she knew how to hit my buttons, bar stools with the bases. And the but the dominant the decor isn't Phil's furniture, and there's a lot of it, or memorabilia, but dozens and dozens of pictures of memories. It's just the experience of it all, you know, all the stuff I have down here, you know, the most important things to me are the pictures with my family and friends. Sika's love for the Phillies really began in 1980 when his mom took him to Game 6 of the World Series when he was just 12 years old. So this is uh, Game 6, 1980. 80. Tug McGraw on the team. Seconds after the, the win in, in 08. Fast forward to and, uh, 08. He took his daughter Amanda, also 12 years at the time, when the Phils took the title. And he's hoping to recreate that legendary picture with her again this week. Sika has tickets to all three Phillies games at home. He also went to the Eagles and Union game Sunday and will attend the Eagles game in Houston Thursday and stay there if necessary for the Phils. I saw it all lined up. I'm like, I got to do this. I mean, how could I not do this? It's, it's there. It doesn't happen very often, so I'm doing it. Assigned Cole Hamill's ball. A nice budget and perhaps, admittedly, a little bit of crazy. And so I'll be at any clinching game bringing that Sika Mystica. Sika says this is his passion, his thing, and he's doing it for Philly. I got to be there. Yeah, well, I, thank you for stepping <laughs> up. Yeah, you know, somebody's got to do it, you know. <laughs> And look who made it to the ballpark, the man, the myth, the legend. Let's Kevin go, Sika. Philly! His friend Bob. All right, no! so to have this perfect no! Philly sports week, you need this game to happen tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, gates are open, so fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. All right, can I get a go Phillies? Go Phillies, baby! Let's go! Go Phillies! Back to you guys. <laughs> Listen, you could have worst addictions, Kelly, you know? So good for Kevin. Yeah.